What's up guys? I hope you are all doing great. We are back. The Redmi Note series has been an absolute bestseller within Xiaomi's Redmi lineup. It was revealed in the autumn of 2021 that 240 million Redmi Note smartphones had been sold worldwide. Moreover, it is likely that in the last two years, this number has increased dramatically, applying no exception to the current Redmi Note 13 model series, which in September 2023 sold over 400,000 units in less than an hour. Xiaomi's has since added more figures. Redmi revealed on Weibo that since the Redmi Note 13 model series release in China, more than 3.2 million of them have been sold. And this number only includes sales within Xiaomi's domestic market. The models appear to be well received there as evidenced by the 98% customer satisfaction rating at J.com, which includes both sales and buyer satisfaction. Additionally, the recently released special edition ought to guarantee more sales. Regretfully, data for Europe Europe is not available at this time and there. The Redmi Note 13 series was only recently put on sale. Xiaomi commemorated the global release of the Redmi Note 13 4G, Note 13 5G, Note 13 Pro 5G, and Note 13 Pro Plus 5G last week. We can vouch for the Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G's strong performance metrics, having recently reviewed the device, and according to the verdict, with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G, Xiaomi has raised the bar for mid-range smartphones right at the beginning of 2024, among other things because of the device's exceptionally bright AMOLED screen and high-resolution 200MP camera. In addition to that piece of news, in April 2023, Xiaomi introduced the Pad 6 Pro to the Chinese market, and the Pad 7 lineup is now due. According to Digital Chat Station, the new flagship tablet with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset is expected to be released next month. The leaker claimed that the Pro would come with Qualcomm's most advanced SOC, and the Pad 7 would come with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 from the previous year. Compared to the previous Pad 6 lineup, which featured a one-year-old chip in the Pro and Max models and an outdated Snapdragon 870 in the vanilla model that we reviewed last summer, this would be a huge improvement. The Pad 7 and Pad 7 Pro may come with 100 watt fast charging and an OLED screen respectively. This would be a first for Xiaomi tablet as all previous slates have come with LCD screens. While all of these features seem fantastic, it would be even better if the company chose to release the Pro outside of China, since up until now, all high-end tablets have only been available within the country. That said, we'll be ending the discussion for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.